First, we have to confront and end the habitual practice of deficit spending. As long as deficits are an option, deficits will be the reality. The remedy that I will support as president is a balanced budget amendment. To be clear, <laughs> to be clear, it has to be properly designed so that it's a tool to limit government, not to raise taxes. Americans in every party are right to be worried about the fiscal integrity and solvency of our government. It needs to be fixed. I will urge Congress to submit a balanced budget amendment to the states and let the people decide. Second, it is time to revive Vito Corleone. The president should be able to eliminate wasteful spending through a constitutionally sound line item veto, such as the version that Paul Ryan has recommended to make sure that it, that it, that it uh, abides by our Constitution. Overspending is one of those problems where the president has to assert a national interest, even if no one else will. The power to veto irresponsible spending is part of that duty, and I know how to use it. Trust me. The third spending reform is government procurement. Federal agencies spend billions and billions of dollars every month on equipment and services following complicated procedures that no company would use in a competitive environment. The process is slow, and too often it holds no one accountable for being over budget or behind schedule. One of the most tragic examples I've seen on the road is a hospital, a VA hospital that has been many years in the making that was supposed to cost $200 million, and now I think the last estimate for its completion in Denver, Colorado is $1.8 billion. You can't make that up. It's really hard to imagine how incompetent and how complicated a process would be to yield that result. 